Right. So hi, we're audio imagery. Are we? <clears throat> yeah, we're a section of audio imagery. I think the other guys got arrested or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ian, I'm the bassist and uh, co-producer. That's his producer. Okay, Creator? co-producer. Co. Yeah. I'm George. Uh, what? Come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep it. It's good. I'm, I'm George. I want to lead vocalist, um, producer, guitar player, dancer. No. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jason. I'm one of the other lead vocalists. Uh, produce, mixer extraordinaire. <laughs> We started meeting one another in 2002, started making music probably together in about 2004, started playing out around then, and then um, 2005 and 6 we started forming the band, and here we are today in 2008. <laughs> that was boring. <laughs> I fell asleep. It's kind of a play on Jimi Hendrix and homage and... If you listen to Jimi Hendrix, then you will understand. Like, that was at the pinnacle of his success. He had mastered that electric guitar at that time. And I think that we mastered the music that we make right now. This is probably the beginning of the mashup. And if people get a hold of this, I think the genre of music will change and start to go into the direction that we're, we're taking. It. It's like that digital stuff and the live instrumentation mashup. And I think we're at the cutting edge of that. When I talk about the live instrumentation, what we've done is we've got together some of the most talented musicians ever that we, <laughs> that we could find. And we use those guys and they play with us and for little to no pay. Uh, and they play with us at, at the live gigs. take somebody's random song, you don't know who they are, they pop the CD in, they're not going to listen to the entire album. They're going to listen to a little piece of it, okay? And if you don't grab them within the first piece, then they're going to go to the next track. And by that time they do that a few times, they're going to toss the CD. So what you need to do is constantly engage the person who's listening. So as soon as they like it, they're like, okay, I can dig this. You add a little bit more, they're like, wow, that was pretty cool. And then you add something out, and then you just build upon that, and that's what we try to do with the entire album with our live performance. That is like the definition of audio imagery. Keeping somebody engaged without a second of them doubting what's going on. Yeah. And I mean, it's hard to do that when you have virtually no name. You're a no-name person. Who is this audio imagery? And then you listen to the music, you go, yes. I like it, I dig it, this is what I want. And they want more, and they want more, and they want more. So we put a lot of time and a lot of effort into every sound, every mix, everything that we put out. It has a lot of time behind it. I don't know, I'm just excited for where it goes. It's like, it jumped up so wonderfully. I'm not really the word out, but it works wonderfully. So it can, it can only go up. Climbing up those stairs. What are your favorite bands? Favorite band? There it is. That's the one. Yeah. All the bands you listen to, listen to us. That's just <laughs> We are the best 
group you will ever hear wow. in your life. Yep. There it is. <laughs> put, put the CD in, and the best group that is not signed. I'll put it to you that way. Put the CD in, and I will, I will bet money. I will bet. I will bet money. That you're gonna like something on that album. You're gonna like something. And you're gonna be curious to find out what the rest of what we are about. And if you don't, Jason will give you ten dollars. Oh, Monopoly money. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, we're audio imagery. And you're not. <laughs> <laughs>